Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing two book reviews of books I've read recently. And so yeah, I'm just going to jump right into it. Also, um, you're not crazy, I did change my hair. <laughs> it went from red to basically my natural hair color, so you're not crazy. <laughs> um, so the first book I'm going to talk about is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Um, I really enjoyed this book. It's about Nora and Charlie, I believe, yes. Um, they're both, they both work for a publishing company, and he's kind of a little cynical, so it's, it's a little bit grumpy sunshine. Um, she pushes for this one book that he didn't like, and then the book gets published, and it's about this place called Sunshine Falls in North Carolina, I believe, and she wants to take a trip there because her sister kind of like pushed her to do it and it's kind of their last chance to hang out with each other for a while because she's pregnant with her her sister is pregnant with the, her third child I believe so they go to Sunshine Falls they have this little list they want to put together kind of like a list from the book to do um, and I really enjoyed Nora and her sister's relationship but I also really enjoyed Charlie's character he wasn't like super negative all the time because I can't stand that <laughs> um, but yeah there's a few little twists in it and um, the ending I really appreciated because it wasn't a typical ending to a romance so I appreciated that um, but yeah I gave it five stars um, really nice little romance. I really enjoy Emily Henry's writing. I'm currently reading People We Meet on Vacation. I've heard mixed things about that one, but I'm still going to read it. I'm still enjoying it. So, yeah, that was Book Lovers. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, the next one I wanted to review is Girls of Bracken Hill by Kate Morietti this one was really good so it's a thriller um so uh basically what's her name hannah hannah's aunt passes away and she has to go to the castle that she spent many summers at that is bracken hill um basically she inherits this after her aunt passes away there is a lot of mystery involved um basically a lot of girls have gone missing at this place and it's like trying to figure out what happened with that uh, Hannah's sister had gone missing years prior and you kind of figure out what happened with that um, I really enjoyed it I, I was a slow read at first I almost thought I was gonna DNF it but then I stuck with it and I'm glad I did because it got really really interesting so um, yeah um, Girls of Bracken Hill I also gave five stars to really good thriller uh, I'm probably gonna read more by Kate Morietti just based on her writing style and the fact that I got interested after a little bit of slowness um, so these were my two book reviews and uh, this is gonna be a really short video, so I apologize, but I just really wanted to review those um, If you have any questions about them, definitely feel free to ask me down below And if you're a book lover like me, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye